Hi, my name is Steve Kaufman, and I am a competitive analysis engineer for Seagate. By now, you may have heard about our new notebook drive, the Momentus XT. This is a solid-state hybrid drive that is excellent for those of you who have applications that require fast load times or high intense storage use. This is things such as movie editing, photo editing, gaming, and anything else that is very intensive. Today, we're going to test the Momentus XT. To give you some background on the Momentus XT and what a solid-state hybrid drive is, is a drive that has some solid state memory on it along with the original spinning HDD still. So it's a solid state memory along with a mechanical design all combined into one. We're not only going to test the Momentus XT, but we're going to test several competitor products of different kinds. One being a solid state two and a half inch hybrid drive, which a solid state drive has no moving parts and is just flash memory. We're going to also do a two and a half inch 7200 RPM two and a half inch drive. This is just like normal HDDs. This is a spinning hard drive that spins at 7200 RPM. We're also going to do a three and a half inch desktop drive that spins at 10,000 RPM. So this one spins faster than any of them, but it's still a mechanical drive with moving parts inside. The test bed that we're going to use is a Asus G51J, which is one of Asus's latest gaming laptops. Now that we got through all the details, we'll get to the fun part and we'll start testing each one of these drives by themselves on the exact same machine. For your convenience, we'll put all four drives on one screen so you can see them all compared to each other. The test starts as soon as each notebook is powered on. The test is going to go through boot up then straight into loading a list of applications, each in the exact same order for each drive. This order is Microsoft Excel, iTunes, Crisis Warhead, the video game, Adobe Premiere Elements, and ending with NI LabVIEW. As you can see, each machine is booting up at this point. The SSD drive is the first one to load the Windows screen and goes into its first application, which is Microsoft Excel. Momentus XT Hybrid is the second one to load the Windows screen and is started in its first application, Microsoft Excel, as well. The 10K RPM desktop drive and 72 RPM notebook drive are still loading Windows. The SSD drive has started second application, iTunes. 10K RPM desktop drive has now finished loading Windows and starting its first application, Microsoft Excel. Momentus XT Hybrid has just moved to its second application, iTunes. And the 7200 RPM notebook drive has just loaded Windows and is starting its first application, Microsoft Excel. The SSD has now moved to its third application, which is Crisis Warhead. Momentus XT is now starting its third application, Crisis Warhead. The 10K RPM desktop drive has now started its second application, iTunes. Crisis Warhead is by far the most intensive application in this test. 7200 RPM notebook drive has now just started iTunes, its second application. The 10K desktop drive is now going to start its third application, Crisis Warhead. The SSD drive now has completely loaded Crisis and will now start its fourth application, which is Adobe Premiere Elements. The 7200 RPM notebook drive has now just started loading Crisis Warhead. Momentus XT Hybrid has now just loaded Crisis Warhead. It will begin its fourth application, which is also Adobe Premiere Elements. The 10K RPM desktop drive has just now loaded Crisis Warhead. It will now start its fourth application, Adobe Premiere Elements. The 
The SSD drive went into its fifth and final application, which is NI Lab View. Momentus XT has now finished Adobe Premiere Elements and is going into its final application, which is NI Lab View. The SSD drive is now closing all applications to finish the test. The notebook drive has just finished Crisis War has now moved into Adobe Premiere Elements. The SSD drive has now finished the test. Momentus XT Hybrid has finished all applications, now closing all applications to finish the test. It has finished the test. The 10K RPM desktop drive is now loading its fifth and final application, NI Lab View. The 10K RPM desktop drive is now closing all applications to finish the test. It has now finished the test. The 7200 RPM notebook drive is loading its final application, which is NI Lab View. The 7200 RPM notebook drive has now finished loading NI Lab View and is now closing all applications to finish the test. The notebook drive has now finished the test. So we finished our testing and the results are in. This is how it all came out. The SSD was the fastest drive. The Momentus XT solid state hybrid drive was only 14 seconds slower than the full on SSD drive and it was a whole 34 seconds faster than the 10K SATA gaming drive. And it was an overwhelming 72 seconds faster than the regular notebook 7200 RPM drive. In boot up times, which is a big user experience, the SSD again was the fastest drive. However, the Momentus XT was only five seconds slower than the SSD, and it was a whole 15 seconds faster than the 10K gaming drive. And again, overwhelmingly, it was 36 seconds faster than the regular Notebook 7200 RPM drive. So the bottom line is the solid state hybrid drive is only seconds behind the SSD and a quarter of the cost.